Hello everybody, welcome to the card for Money in the Ass this Sunday, 18th of July at 8pm UTC. I'm Jimmy Ventura, with me in the booth is Fymir. Hello! Hello everybody, and get ready this Sunday, 18th of July, 8pm UTC, your life is gonna change. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it might change for one of these two. We've got the Plim Plum Pluserweight Championship opening the show, a ladder match between Ripper Doc and Muppet Pac-Man. And what a fight this is going to be. Ripper Dog has shown no mercy to see his rivals in his career to reach this chance. A Muppet Pac-Man, an absolutely legend of the ring, pound by pound, one of the best wrestlers in human history, has to defend his title against a man that knows the, how to cause pain to the human body at a professional level. <laughs> yeah, it should be a wild one. And then following that up, it's the Wemmedorp Championship on the line. Purple Chest beat beat off Crystal Hunter on Monday night to earn this opportunity against the champ, Ducky. Yes, and they say third time is the charm. Maybe this is the charm for, for Purple Chest. The British Bard fighting the Danish delinquent, Ducky, that will really stop nothing. It will stop him to fall or do whatever he is need to be done. To beat Purple Chest once and for all. Absolutely. And then we've got we've got a massive match. The Two Heads Championship on the line. Cock and Ball Torture the Champions. They've been pretty much unbeatable uh, lately. An incredible run. The North and South beat Dress for Business to get the opportunity. And it's good. There you go. This is it. This is it. Can... North and South finally stop the reign of terror of CBT. But I think it's going to be an epic match because CBT are absolute masters of the ring and they stop and nothing to do whatever is necessary to win. And the main problem for North and South is they have balls and they have going to have to use them. And that's where CBT excels. Absolutely. Managed, of course, by Sheila there. Will she have an effect? Possibly. Is he already having an effect on me? <laughs> That's all part of the CBT. <laughs> and then we've got the JFW World Championship on the line in a tables, ladders and chairs match. Um, that should be wild. Physics against Dimmy G. Physics, the man that has everything, the looks, the agility, the strength, but he's missing one thing, a title. And Dimmy G, the champion's the champ of the people, the legend of the GFW and the big Blood Bowl 2 community has that title and has proved absolutely unstoppable here. is the brains versus brawl here and it's going to be personal and it's going to be brutal. The spirit of the British nation is on the line. Absolutely, it should be glorious. Uh, but, oh God, the next match, not so much. This... <laughs> <laughs> this could be a bloodbath. It's a handicap one on three tag. It's Wanger taking on all of the hams. Uh, Shawnee, Fault Force, and Chugman Milk. Brutal. Well, what well, is to say? Wanger is in a personal a one man crusade versus the hams, and it's not going very well for him. He's been humiliated, beaten, nearly destroyed. He barely survived Monday. Uh, Horrible ambush by Shawnee, and now he has to fight all his horrors and terrors and fears at the same time. <laughs> and the Hams have proved many times they have no mercy or no human feelings at all when it comes to the wrestling. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> And then, oh boy, here we go. This is an extreme rules match for the extra arms belt. Jack Bull has burst onto the scene with a quad skulls faction uh, defending Rick Reckless, basically. And he's trying to stop the undead reign of terror, uh, Night Demon. Night go. Demon, the room, a complete monster in the ring. Nobody can barely touch him. And Jack Bull wants to prove his worth to his pals in a quad school trying to prove that he's worthy to be there that he's not giving anything has been giving to him the defeating night demon the man that destroyed rick restless and keep rick restless out or months of the gfw but the problem is to do that he actually needs to defeat night demon 
yeah, that is not an easy task. Night, be, Night Demon is an absolute demon. It's really hard to beat him. <laughs> but that's not the main event. The main event is the money in the ass match. Boy, howdy. Is the... it the eight men qualified for this match? Eight men with just one dream. Grabbing that chance to pick up a fight for the title anytime, wherever they want. Eight men that prove one time after time they are willing to do anything and risk anything and that their lives mean nothing if it can bring them victory. But they can only be one winner. And we know that Sunday night at Money in the Ass. Yeah, whoever wins, whoever wins this match will get a contract to, that they'll be able to cash in at any point in the next year to go for any title in the JFW that they want. So it's it's going to be wild, isn't it? We've got the Waitrix there, after, back after a long time out. We've got Frost Lord Army. We've got Muppet Pac-Man. We've got Kiwi Nutsack Attack. We've got Flicky Flack. We've got Ardvac. We've got Peppered Biscuit. And we've got JBG. Boy, howdy. I mean, I wouldn't want to be in the ring with any of these men, and they're going to be in the ring with all of them. So, yeah, it's going to be absolutely mental. It's going to be a thing that's going to keep everybody in their seats for a long time until we have a new morning the ash champion. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. So don't miss it, whatever you do. Um, it's going to be glorious. And obviously, Faime will be here in the commentary with us. So will Rick Reckless. It's going to be amazing. So, yeah. That's it. Don't 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 miss it. Thank you very much, Faimir, for coming on and doing this. Thanks. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Glorious. And thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.